Word has just reached us. The Providence that was connected with our criminal organization near Namadi has been destroyed in the core. To my surprise, the ship was crewed by droids. Separatist droids. It may sound odd, but combat droids running warships of this scale have been outlawed by the Empire for some time. To have a ship of this scale make it so deep into the core worries me greatly. While yes, the technology to fake life signs on security scans exists, the ships should have been stopped a number of times for routine security checks in person. This suggests at least bribes at the border or worse. Thankfully, I have some influence over the commander of Alfred Station, the closest Imperial installation with the tools necessary to undertake an investigation of a wreck this size. Commander Krieg has reported that the ship was planning to make a trip to Brintal 4, a fairly rich world sitting at a key location between the Hadian Way and the Perillion trade routes. On World, a series of large underground facilities have been scanned. Looks like they're being used to produce droids and to maintain their operation, using salvage separatist technology. Best case scenario, the droids will be used as cheap labor to give the company an edge in future contracts, including most likely Imperial contracts. Worst case, they were planning something more nefarious. But the moment the report was sent out, an Imperial fleet was dispatched to destroy the facility and take direct control of the planetary defense grid. A company in the core being greedy does not concern me. The droid factories, even the old separatist capital ship, isn't that much of an issue. What worries me is the Imperial response. It was fast. Too fast. From my best calculations, factoring hyperspace travel time, message delivery, and just reviewing the report, this makes me believe that the Admiral left port with a combat group two hours after he was given it. How does one prep, brief their forces, and deploy a battle group within two hours? They don't. The only possible explanation then is that someone in high command was aware of the operation and wanted to be the first to arrive. But why? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Empire at War, Forces of Corruption. Let's take a look at the galaxy. I just hit resume, and it's thinking real hard about it. There we go. Setting up shop. Look at that galaxy map. We are I've slowly getting the core under control. We're looking at the rings. Oh, all right, sure, why not? You can see the hyperspace lanes everywhere. Last episode, I asked the question, should we focus on a more waved-based strategy, right? Go really heavy into the Imperial Army. And people seem to be down for it while churning, like saving our money doing that and putting like half that income into research and development so that we can get more interesting units online. And I'm kind of for it. I like that idea. So that's exactly what we're going to do. In the last episode, there was a great, let's turn on all the things. There was a great bit of progress. Uh, we actually managed to break through the Brintal uh, shipyard, whatever you want to call it, their, their orbital forces and survive the hyperspace cannon. So now it's time to get on the ground and take some sweet revenge against that thing. We did lose uh, one of the ISDs in that fight and some of the support ships, which was pretty brutal, but it could have been a lot worse. We knew we were going to take some, some losses. That's why the last episode was like heavy losses or part of the plan uh, as a title. We need to get the ground invasion going. Uh, and we need to pick up where was not you ATSTs. Uh, where was I'm gonna grab one of these. Unit. The we we actually built it. Oh, we can we can access actually we can access ground forces over here now. There they are. Uh, these guys, the ATDT company. We saw these first in Solo. I thought Solo's opening like battlefield was fantastic. Like I wish we had that whole movie was just based on that planet and that campaign and just followed some random mud mud stompers. Uh, let's see, all-terrain defense turret should be thought as a self-propelled artillery piece and not as an assault vehicle, firing explosive rounds, dangerous to infantry and unarmored vehicles. The crew is largely unprotected. Yeah, it's got really light armor. It's an open-top vehicle. Uh, there's quite a few vehicles like this throughout Awakening the Rebellion, and you can just kind of wreck it really easily. But if you can sit back and just go ham, you'll be able to take out infantry like mad. But that is a good point. It's not good against enemy vehicles. So, are these... Are these ground ties? I can just build ground ties. Oh, that's tempting. It's tempting, but also not super effective. What am I gonna use to take on? I'm gonna order three units. Uh, what am I gonna use to take? I guess I could just use AT-ATs to take on enemy vehicles, because that's gonna be our problem. Because like Faros, we got a spy over there right now. We got a probe droid kind of scanning around and taking shots and transmitting them back to us. 
Uh, they have some old Clone Wars era AATs, and we don't really have a good solution to that that isn't just like, and then face punch them with an ATAT. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, what? Do you build anything on the ground right now? Not really. Uh, pod walkers, I guess. You know, you just overwhelm them with long range laser cannons. Uh, not, not really great, but light tank destroyer. Yeah, I guess that is the role. All right. So I know I've got another facility that can build light tank destroyers. Somewhere, question mark. You guys, troops. you guys should start training. Like we need, nope, those are stormtroopers. We're not, we're not ready for stormtroopers. I need the cheapest chips. Uh, seriously, do we not have a barracks anywhere? There you guys are. Soldiers. Let's get some support soldiers. in there. Uh, you guys are there to buy us time while better forces get the job done. Another thing that we could do for killing vehicles is, um, well, do the global aircraft research and actually get some strikers. Strikers can do some damage. Hmm. That's tempting. The question is, where would we want to put it, though? Or um, hey, Doran's a little questionable because I don't think we'd be able to hold it. I mean, it does have a golden platform. We did invest. Hmm. I do kind of want to give you an outpost. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we spent a lot of money. This is all like ground force research. Hey, Coruscant. What's going on over there? Advance the era to four and research post Death Star 2 technology. I'm not there yet. I'm not, I'm not, no, not even close. Not even close. Okay. We need to prepare for this ground invasion. They don't actually have an outpost, right? Independent forest base has Speeders. Okay, so they do have some ground forces, and they have one of my favorite walkers, the ATTE. Man, that thing is cool. That thing is cool. Uh, what are you doing for ground defenses? For some reason, you've decided to build a landing platform again. I'm gonna let you finish that and just see what happens. It's supposed to give us ties. I don't remember ordering that when I didn't have an outpost already. That seems a bit backwards, but. Uh, and we're kind of waiting for regulars to finish up. Yeah. Yeah, we need a lot of regulars. Let's unpause. Let's load up. Prepare for the ground invasion. As you wish, master. Oh, what was your orbital there, Tapasi? Ugh, I've lost sight. I've lost sight. It shouldn't take long to train these troops, right? Oh yeah, they go fast. They go fast and we don't even have like the infantry structure here. Maybe I'll turn Boralis into ground base cannot be detected on this planet. Uh, I wonder why, I wonder what the lore reason is for that. I can get Infantry training buff. Harsh conditions speed up production of infantry. Yes. Building Let's started. put that on there. And this is going to be an infantry training operation on this world. So we'll have two now. We'll have Coredia, which is where we get train our officers. And then we'll have this planet pumping out just regulars at 33% faster. Uh, we can do a... Let's spiral Trinjula again. And ready, I want to know Tactical what you... Minute. Hello! Okay, mid-rim. Not exactly a mid-rim siege. Oh, it is a mid-rim siege. Wow. Oh, no, it's me. <laughs> no. People love to send me messages of, like, how I've died in their campaign. And sometimes they're, like, really epic stories. Other times, it's just like, so the Liberation showed up and decided to fight four victory classes on its own. Like, oh, okay. Uh, I don't think we could win this. Yeah, not with the justice here. The silent water. Let's see what we get on our random small defense force. The rebellion has made its first move. This is our first battle against the rebellion proper. It wasn't like a Kyle Katarn raid where he just noped out. Carrot crews are ready. So we've got a Carrot, we've got a half fighter wing. Literally just a fighter wing and not like a squadron. Or the other way around. Uh, got an acclimator. Assault carriers. And Imperial loadout. The battle carrier. All right. We might be able to get something done. Wow. What? How many carriers did you give me? Ah, oh, damn. Ready for action. And because you're a space station with engines, I can just move you out of the way. That's so funny. Yes, commander. Uh, okay. What do we got? Well, we should probably organize you guys reporting. into. Location You're going to be Advancing. support gunships. We've got our bomber by. squadrons. We should have Where our ties. Set. Yes, sir. Uh, the rest of you are... V-Wings? 
Oh, look at them. V-Wing Interceptors. That's a cool looking model too. Looks good. That looks good. So what's my priority here? What do I want? What do I want to make sure isn't in the next battle? That's the real question. All right, all of you just go ahead and form up. We're gonna we're gonna hit them all at once. Uh, they're gonna show up in formation. I'll even fast forward a little bit. Uh, I don't think there's anything on this map that I want to rush off and capture. What plans do I have bonuses from? Ability recharge. Yep, I remember when we took that. And combat bonus. Fighters and bombers gain 10% damage boost. Ooh. I wonder what plan it's giving me that. That's pretty sweet. All right. So, bombers. Go ahead and break off. Kind of sit back there. Let's get the TIE fighters up. We want to make sure if they've got any any missile capability, it ends up in the reporting in in the ties and not destroying our bombers. So our bombers can get a lot of good work done. You don't need to be that far back though. Ark, go ahead and move up so we can get eyes on them. Use those long range sensors of yours. Crews are online. Okay. Awaiting command. Confirmed. Die squadron standing by. By. Enemy there we go. Ahead. This is a good opportunity, actually, to take out a hero. And I think the hero we're going to take out is Affion. And with a second, Eclipse would be on my, my second list there. Uh, their fighter coverage is really terrible, actually. We might be able to do more than that. Uh, including you, Ark. Go ahead and block your S-foils in attack position. And I want you guys to engage. Up my Bombers are set. His aunties stick on the enemy fighters Ready. and then all carriers. The There's your orders. Bombers are in route. Carriers are on the way. Let's get the interceptors working on this pretty quickly. I normally wouldn't want to be engaged on this. Let's shield. I'm sorry, Liberation. No, better yet, go after the MC. Go after the MC. Because once that thing shields are down. Yeah, that's what exactly. That's exactly what I was worried about. Thankfully, you guys. As soon as you're in firing range, we can open up with the ions and drop that protective shield really, really quickly. And by its very nature, it's weaker. Did we get it? Oh, we got him. No, we didn't. He's still up. He is still up. Get inside the shield. All right, the rest of you guys engage that ship. Engage that ship. How's his shield? Not, not weak enough. All units engage. Actually, cycle back. Frequency open. In range. Cycle back and kill that Ewing. Hey bomber, how you doing? I know we're not doing a lot. We got the shield down. We got the shield down. You guys, switch your target. Switch your target. You gotta kill it. I know you're not great at this. I know those carriers are getting absolutely stomped, but there, we targeted just right. Um, the opportunity. Mm, I don't think we're gonna get it. Not without those bombers surviving longer than 10 seconds. And they're about to fire off. Oh god, their ties are just the ties are just getting stomped. The good old acclimator. My players! So we just started back up our our almost five year running Star Wars tabletop game. And my players have been introduced now to a bunch of intelligence on the would-be moth. That's that's they just found out what the, the plan of the Empire. Oh, you guys gotta break off or you're just gonna die. And V-Wings, I need you on these Z9... Oh, the ties are dead. All right, Z95s. You gotta die. They're chasing They're chasing bombers. You should get clear shots at this. Oh, you even managed to peel them. Nice. I know you're not gonna be able to do this well. Try. Ah, those are flat units. They're quite good at it. All right, everybody just slam into that ship. Just throw everything you've got there. So they've been introduced to what this, this would-be Moff who's trying to gain influence, gain power, gain credits to bribe himself into becoming a Moff in a certain region, which is the Mnemonic Corridor. And that's kind of the, they, they figured out the plot now. They figured out like what the, what this guy's goals are. He's not evil for evil's sake. Uh, he's evil because he wants power and he doesn't want to have to answer to anybody. And the Moff position is seen as like the answer to that, right? Uh, so they've seen, oh no, oh no, TIE Fighters, TIE Fighters, cover those bombers. Those bombers are exactly what we need to finish the job here. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to. Ooh, please stay back there. Stay back there and continue to artillery. That way you're not covering this and I have a chance to dip. Torpedoes are away, torpedoes are away. 
Uh, I can't tell if we're just hitting a subsection or we just hit shielding. What happened there? Station ready. Locking on Get engaged, re engage, re engage, re engage. There goes our, our Quintons. It's just gone up. But now they know kind of what the um, fleet strength of this guy's fleet looks like. And I actually put them out on the table as, as models so they could see like every acclimator represented a ground division that they're going to have to, you know, figure out a way to deal with. Not by themselves, mind you. There's like three ISDs there. Uh, representing this, you know, the main fleet strength, the bulk of the fleet. I think we are actually done here. There is one bomber left, but so close. So unless we get another wave of bombers. I didn't want to spend the money on upgrades, but now I kind of think that if I had, I might have been able to take down another hero. That's not bad. That is not bad. Getting back into the swing. All right, we're going to pop auto resolve just so it ends really quickly. They have managed to break through at Eridus, pretty far from our line, pretty far from our logistics. We lost a single Carrick that was in orbit, uh, but we did manage to take out one of their heroes. Uh, the ground invasion here, ooh, they're going after my mines. And there is no way for me to actually, ah, not necessarily true. I could send reinforcements. I just don't know if I could win. What, what's our deal here? We got one of our Venators, one of our Acclimators, a Carrick, and a Gazanti. I don't feel like we can actually win that. And this planet has been sabotaged by the Black Sun. Oh, the Rebels and the and the Black Sun are, are working together. They just don't realize it. That's really funny. Hmm. Now, it'd be close. Like, we might be able to win it. Not, not with the Liberation's firepower. Not with the Liberation's firepower. I think I'm just going to let them siege that. If they do attack it, I am going to sell those mines and just get out of there. We should we should combine our force, though. Navigating. If they're going to invade. Construction complete. Okay. How are we doing on training the, the ground troops? Our first platoons are ready. Let's move you. Construction complete. Not the world I wanted to zoom in on. Solo is on Trinjula. Oh crap! Don't raid me. <laughs> don't do it. I don't want. I'm busy. I have ground invasions to accomplish. Thank you very much. I mean, Coralag does have. No, not Coralag. An Axis does actually have a whole unit of stormtroopers. I was. I'm gonna move it because I don't want to wait. We built an Arquintons. Where do we? Where do we build that at? Well, drive yards. Let's move your space station over. Um, I would love to put a Zan Consortium's taking up. Hmm. I'd love to get another ISD as a replacement. Uh, are they cheaper on quant? They are 1700 a quant. Yeah, they are literally thousands of credits sir. cheaper. Ready for deployment, sir. Good. Get up here. We need regulars. There's the ground invasion. Wait, no. That's a core world invasion. Of what? The planets are so packed in here. There. Ground invasion raid? Oh, they might actually be able to pull this off. It's Bothans. It's Bothans. Is it just Bothans? No, I bet you Solo's in this fight too. Soldiers ready, sir. All right, we do have the resources to get turrets down. Let's do that quickly. Reporting. Awaiting orders. Moving out. If we can find them. They can drop from our left Awaiting and our orders. right. I don't know this map at all. I don't know if I've ever fought on this map. Big highways? Yes, sir. Okay, all Take units forward. report Take back here. Yes, there's turrets back here. Cool. Did you get that one? We're going to put a anti-infantry turret there. It looks like they're actually capping this. Is it just Bothans? Hold your position and engage. Reinforcements are on the way, and we're giving you a turbo laser. Uh, we do already have free reinforcements down in the south. Well, I wanted regulars. We have regulars fighting. 
Yeah, go ahead and stop. And Bothans aren't really great at combat. They are stealth units. You're not Bothans. You're just locals. Interesting. Interesting. This is a divided planet. Okay, how are you doing over here? We didn't actually lock anything down. I'll send you a few squads. We are engaged. Roger that. Perfect squad to be engaged. The ones with the... Wait, what are you? Oh, Saboteur Rocketeers. Boom, bow, bow. I should have seen that coming. I should have waited until the suppression team managed to kill them. Yeah, you get over there, give them a hand. Advancing. I think we're gonna be okay here. They built a medical station of which we're shelling. What is the what is this map? Requesting support fire. So the main highway. Oh, I love it. This the main highway. They have three ways they can approach, right? The main highway has dual heavy entrenchment objects that you can build. Let's get you all engaged in that. Please stop shooting the medical installation. We can outgun them here. And then the big ass turret, you keep firing at that. We've got more contact in the north. Construction waiting order. They're falling back. We must Copy. save. Let me see your identification. Uh, we must save the mines on this world. They are imperative to the Imperium. I almost said Imperium. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> if the Empire. Ready for command. Go grab some turrets. Wait, there's still enemies over here. Give them nothing. Engaging target. There you go, boys. Low end infantry, they just. Oh, oh, that's why they're here, because this is where they start. Gotcha. Hey! Guess who we can see now? Can you, can you shoot this? Yes! Alright. Start thinning that crowd. You gotta take this out or we're gonna be dealing with enemy reinforcements constantly. How are you doing down here? Uh, you have not given me more reinforcements, so I guess we're waiting. These are unlimited, are they? Oh, they might be. No, you get six. Okay, they're not unlimited. Nothing is unlimited in, in this game. We are packing up. We need to get down there before they get a turret online. The turret is going to be a gigantic pain in the ass. Let's go, people. Let's move. I can't believe I left we just started building. <laughs> For those who are wondering what that line means, Armco is my Discord community. Who's played many games all over the internet. Me and Waste Space and Mr. Morphologist, we put together years and years ago. And I love that little Easter egg. It's so great. Who's shooting at us? Couple of civilian units, couple of militia. Our stormtroopers have managed to find another unit. Right away. What we need to find. Order acknowledged. You guys are good. Keep moving. Moving to that area, sir. Any We're gonna secure that region. We have enemy contact. Is it Bothans? Oh, it's real yes, units. Commander. Turn around. Fallout, turn. By real units, I mean these are paid for. These are elite. Oh, wait, militia elite gunners. They might not be. They might actually be freebies. Hey, you stop that. Ow. Order, sir. Ow. Those grenades really hurt that building, and I do not want to lose that. They've got a Z6 in that unit. A Gatling blaster cannon. Rotary cannon. There they are. This is what one of my players use as their primary weapon in our tabletop. The Z6. That scene you remember, everybody remembers from the, that's gift all to hell, um, from the Clone Wars, where the guy's like, for the Republic. He's using a Z6. Uh, the Empire uses them too, actually. We see them in uh, Jedi Fallen Order. All right. If we can pierce through Ferost today, we can pull the Venator from Jakku and from this area and start organizing a better fleet and maybe start making inroads in two different directions. Might not be a bad idea, but until then, let's get a ground invasion. Before they dig in even more, because I noticed that there are turbo lasers now. 
That's going to be scary. I wonder if I can get to there. I should have got some TIE Fighters. I wonder if I can get to there. Um, what is that? Just a capture point, I guess? Seems weirdly... It's a weird icon on the map for just a capture point. Uh, don't waste your money on building something that's just going to get blown up by drop ships. That doesn't seem like a good, a smart way of using your resources. Uh, let's drop troops. Shuttles have arrived. We'll do a field commander where we can get the ties and we can see exactly what's going on. What are your orders? Unit, move up. I believe in you. Awaiting your ties, you're in support. Reporting. Sir. See what we're dealing with. So freaking cool. I kind of want to make tie tie squadrons. So I need to find out where their power generation is. Holy crap, baskets! You got enough defense troopers? No, they're not. Right away. There is something moving here. What was that? What was that? What was that? Okay, Mercs. Ah! You show up on sensors. I could have sworn I saw turbo lasers. Maybe they built the turbo lasers. Oh, that would be really funny if that's the case. Dig in here and hold. I want you to clear the local buildings. I'll give you tie support to do just that. Uh, and I will bring you a non-hero ATAT because honestly, don't want to lose another hero. <laughs> Uh, I just don't want to deal with that. The comments were really funny. Uh, with a couple of them being like, I am irrationally mad at Shaq losing the 501st. Which I haven't lost the 501st. They're not gone forever. I do have Vader. They're still attached to Vader. Uh, but I did lose one of the units that have 501st units. Uh, what are we picking up? Ion Cannon! Scumbags. And by Ion Cannon, I mean Hyper Velocity Cannon, right? Brown planetary turbo laser cannon. Oh, ho, ho, excuse me. <laughs> so when my players were looking at this fleet, right, that the um, the wannabe moth has under his command, right, uh, the, the idea is that he's only got a certain number of, of units in this fleet, and it's not very effective for him. Uh, we're trying to get into this tower. Please stop shooting the tower that you're trying to get into. Um, the idea is that if he asks for help, mainly if he, if he asks for reinforcement, he can kiss his... his hopes of becoming a moth away is they're gone because he is he has shown that he cannot maintain control over his area of responsibility right that's kind of the idea at is on the way um and one of the one of the um isds was already destroyed on the map it was red and they're like what does red mean and i was like red means it's been destroyed and they're like what happened how did that happen and it clicked with one of them just a little bit later they were like oh you guys remember five years ago in the opening of the campaign, we managed to hold that hyper velocity cannon. We managed to take it back from the storm commandos and we managed to fire off and crack that ISD in half to escape. Like we literally, that was the beginning of the campaign. That's how we escaped. And everybody was like, oh my God. Like that was one of his only ISDs of the three, that, of the, the four that he has. And now he's down to three. And I just love that realization. Like, it's been literally in the real world almost half a decade of playing tabletop. Okay, they are coming in hard. Uh, and we do not have air support other than the ties right now. Um, is that a Burt? Did I just hear a Burt? Come troopers! ATAT, -AT, focus your fire on the light armor that they have. I love that. Can we just... Oh, it's on fire and it's exploding. I was gonna say, can we just look at this SP9? self-propelled little little cannon for the sector security forces this is so cool they're basically their own faction how how cool would it be if you could play like just a random planet sector security force and then have to make your way in the galaxy in a campaign that would be neat and then maybe you could buy like rebel imperial and black sun units just depending on what research you do what contracts you pick up who you align with kind of deal I don't know. I love crap like that. 
Uh, what do we have back here? We have human civilians behind us. Our regulars are just entrenched right now. You guys can get out, by the way. You don't need to be in there. You need to be You need to be taking hits for us. Get up here. Speaking of commander, uh, fleet commander. Yeah, sit in the back. Actually, get into the AT-AT. -AT. <gasps> Wait, you don't... No, he doesn't heal while inside. You guys go ahead and trench. Trench up. Um... I really do need to move the walker up, or I just need to hold until the bombers are ready. You know what? Get back to the bunker. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Keep it up. Let's switch your fire. We've lost the command post? Oh, the drop site. Just hold for a little bit longer. Reinforcements are on the way. I just heard another bird. I'm surprised that the regulars are doing so well. I'm ordering the tie to re-engage these ground forces, um, and then we're just gonna have you engage there. Ties in for a run. Make your run. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very wounded. I want more ties. I want like an air unit, like an army focused around air power. Cheap air power. Maybe we'll do that with the uh, with the regulars. So it's like regulars backed up. Oh, the poor stormtroopers have all been wiped out. Uh, they fought for so long. Um, there's a speeder behind you. Oh, you're weak, Cannon. Just, just wrecked him. He's running. So I had a plan. That, I don't really need it anymore. I was going to hit him with the bombs. Oh, I still am. Air power on the way. Oh, and I just noticed the anti-aircraft. That sucks. All right. We're moving. Next wave of infantry is on the way. I'm going to have to drop reinforcements. Uh, let's watch this bombing run first because I don't want to miss it. So AA turret is tracking. Proton bombs did manage to get away. I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. That's not bad. You need to hold up there. I'll send you reinforcements right now. Suppression, suppression, regular, regular, regular. Odd walkers for support. All right. Yeah, I need you to. I need you to kill these anti-infantry little, little walkers. And early tech. Early tech empire is actually probably my funnest, the funnest empire. Because <laughs> you kind of throw stuff at the walls. Whoa, was that your side cannons? Look at this thing. Horrifying. I want you to hold position right there. Don't move anymore. Yes, sir. Shuttles and regulars have arrived. You're fine. That is a lot of regs. I think that a that TE is still alive. It is, and it's running. Yes, commander. Smartest move that guy's ever made. Get him, get him, get him. Your accuracy leaves a lot to be desired. All right, we're gonna move. <gasps> oh, that terrain isn't navigable by vehicle? No wonder you went the long way. Bombardment available, just wait a little bit longer. Wait for it, wait for it, bombard. There's the shield generator. I can, I can hit, oh, I can't, because I can't get up here. Makes me wish I had sabotage teams now. Oh, come on. Well, I got some of the units there. Miss, miss. We've got it handled, sir. Uh, we're, we're sending all ISD gunners back to remedial training. We obviously quickly. have a problem here. This is an issue. Now, for those who are wondering, hey, Sheck, why don't you just like wait around for bombing runs? What is hitting you? Full position. Is this a minefield or something? What are your orders? Steve. On our way. Let's go. I don't know what that was. That On was weird. Our force was like getting concussed. AT AT ready. Ready for orders. Alright, fall back. Fall back. But why I don't wait for bombing runs? It's kind of I mean, I get it. You can do it. I don't. I find it a little cheap. I like to do the assault. Um, 
just because there's no like recourse to it you can just kind of sit around i guess there are you do get aa if you wait around too long the enemy's just gonna build a crap ton of aa and you're gonna have to deal with that uh really just waiting for pod walkers by the way who should be able to walk up here no they can't not even pod walkers can i wonder if at i wonder if atsts can yeah go ahead and fall back all of you fall back let's go right away let's move this way Give me a couple suppression teams to just like wait here in case they do try to go that way. They have. Your weapons should have range here, right? Yeah, you got range. You got range. Whack. Ow. Oh, we coming for you. But um, but um, but um, but um. You all need to hurry up. Oh, you are so done. Hold that position. I don't want you fighting turrets and everything. Oh, you managed to get up there. Weird. All right. Refocus your fire on that walker. Let's kill that quickly. You guys, I know you're badly wounded and there's a lot of anti-vehicle up here, but kill that. You should be able to kill the open top pretty easily. Walker and infantry, now is your time. Let's move up. And if you guys will just hang out for a minute, we should have access. Go ahead and do it. Do it, do it, do it. Plant your guns. Uh, we should have access to a bombing run just as you guys are pushing up. Nice little combined arms attack. You hold your position. We do, we do need that bombing run. We are going to need a little bit more in the way assets. Do I have anything I can... Eh, not really. Nothing that I want to bring in. Let's bring this in. We'll bring some ATSTs in as well. Not gonna fix this problem for us because we lack armor piercing. Can you break this for me? Can you guys march? I don't want to fight this directly. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Look how chunked that just got. How are you guys doing? I mean, it's not terrible. This is vehicle anti-infantry? Anti-vehicle, take that out. I know you guys can. That's my pods. Getting absolutely wrecked. Uh, sort of. Okay, we're moving you up. You can get your guns on range. How are we doing? Oh, you're just getting stomped. Bombing runs here. Dropping it. Yeah, we're gonna lose that at, -AT. We can lower the damage output here and we can... Nope, he's down. Damn, that heavy gun did work. Bombs away, and it was enough. All right, turbo lasers are now down. We can move in from the right. Once those AT-ATs are committed, you're kind of just stuck. It's all right, we'll get the factories working on the next replacement. Get it quick, get it quick. There he is, turret's down. So turrets more do more damage if you have after this. If you have um Oh kill that, kill that quick before it. Uh shield generator up. If you have power generator in this. So keep that in mind when you're taking them out. Let's go. I could have gotten mercs. Oh well. No, cap it. Don't kill it, cap it. I wanna set you up so you delay them. Cap should be almost done. Come on. In. In, 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 in. Get the officer in there. Suppress them. Suppress them. I really don't care about that turret, so I want you to break cover and run. And re-engage. We should have ATSTs getting here. Let's get them at best speed. Run. Good. It is delaying them. Wonderful. Wonderful. They lost a heavy walker. I lost a heavy walker to one of those turrets. Yes, sir. Moving up. How we doing? Security troopers seem to be able to just eat rounds. How much health do they have? 18 a unit? Okay. All right, dig in here. Oh, oh, they've got combat droids. Look at them. That's hilarious. But now we should be overrunning them in a moment because we should have there they are yep with grenade launchers too since all they've got is infantry at this point oh 
Oh, we coming. Man down. Requesting medical. Ready. Yeah, I'm still having armor piercing problems. We need to deal with that somehow. Yes, sir. I'm thinking strikers, air support. It won't be the solid solution in every problem. Ooh, guys, spread out. I think hit all of you. There they go. And that breaks us through the line. Rest of you engage. Spread out again. And you three, only thing you need to be doing is just wrecking the infantry that come out. Perfect. Oddwalkers, are you guys in range? Yeah, you're in range. You're already fired. Sweet. I mean, you guys can't engage. I don't. I don't need you to just sit there. There's nothing else. This is why I had to bring up the stormtroopers with freaking missiles, the rockets. Somebody's got to pierce the building. There it is again. There, are they taking damage? They are taking damage. It's got to be a minefield by one of their unit. Like, look at that. That almost killed. That whole group of stormtroopers. All right, Load your All right, let them loose. Noticing you're not firing. Are you outranged by your own Attack. fire? There they go. Oh, that's something Let's to keep go. in mind. If you right click with your stormtrooper rockets, your anti-armor unit, they might out, they'll go to their rifle ranges, but not their rocket ranges. You might have to move them closer. Interesting. Good to know. Uh, we are picking up something down here. I have a feeling there might be more infantry. Let's just bombard it. Since we've got this in the bag. I like that you're just not participating. ATST, get in there. There it is. That was the last. Okay. The planet is ours. The hyperspace lanes are secured, leaving the core. Uh, don't look at that. Yeah, look at that. That was bad. <laughs> it would have been clean if I hadn't lost that dang AT. Ah, uh, time to put in the order. A very imperial. All the losses. Let's pick that up. And who else can make? Can nobody else make ties right now? Troopers ready, Commander. It's a tier. What tier do we need? We need a tier. Zoom in. Uh, oh, okay. We need a heavy factory. Jackernauts have rockets, and they're surprisingly cheap compared to, like, an ATSD. But same problem. Once they get stuck in... Yeah. Complete. Mm, once they get stuck Ready in, they're kind of... They're kind of in trouble. Uh, what's our mission right now? Hun Shipyard. Imperial Defectors. Wishes to hunt down rebel traders on Ord Montel sector, conquer the Ord Montel, and retake Jaeger Minor. Yeah, I, that's not an easy thing to do. Ord Montel isn't exactly the easiest planet to take. They are taking up as well. Hmm. I'm thinking a Naxus might end up with some air tech. And maybe an upgraded factory. Yes, let's do the air tag. That way we can just bomb targets into oblivion. All right, Vader. Going back up with the fleet. Uh, you're getting an outpost. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with you past that. Let's head over to Forost. As you wish. Everybody's teching up. Oh, they're doing space and ground tech. Now, last intel that we gathered from here, send a spy out here, was we need to take Trendrilla too. Our spy went through it so we can actually see it. Is this considered a shipyard? It is a shipyard. We're going to finish this battle and then run over and... Oh, no. You've got an invincible... I haven't fought one of those since we did the Fall of the Republic campaign. Corey's mod. Those things are massive. Old tech. Hmm. 
this looks more defended than I had anticipated. This might not be doable for us. We may have to bail. Form up. All right, Ties. Awaiting orders. There's a golem platform. This way. There's an invincible. We only have two ISDs and some victories. Hmm. I had hoped to join up. What is it to well, we'll, we'll move up. We can definitely take out a golem if it's like a golem one. Hey, what are you doing? Imperial Come missile destroyer here. Yeah, let's move up. Yes, sir. Copy. High fighter squadrons are moving in. I wanted to get that Vanader right that's off in the south. Full speed. The enemy is Moving. approaching. Which I was wrong about. I don't think you can actually make Venators in this is the Empire. Um, let's Over grab there. this. Oh, no, we can't grab this. It's already owned. All right, you guys go ahead and engage. And then we'll let the ready. actual once, fleet Commander. destroy it. Let me get one group of ties. Course set. the strafing and they're they're the half squadron so they're not really doing the oh no what do we got going on over here please no no get those bombers out of there my poor bombers one pirate v-wing got in there and i lost like half a squadron uh the invincible is moving up to engage us we might fall back Nope, they've just cycled back around. Pirates, you stay away from us. I see you down there in the bottom. What's going on here? Yes, hey, you guys catch back up. We're lobbing missiles. Victory classes see see a target. Good. Whew. You know, I was wondering, I was kind of downplaying the range of the victory class, and now I might take that back. Though, to be fair, the ISCs are firing too at this point. So. Ready. What I should downplay is the accuracy of said ships. Oh, all right, here's our chance. Here's our chance. Our bombers. Uh, bomber squadrons. As you wish, my lord. Bomber squadrons, bomber squadrons. Let's go. You guys are gonna be my group one. Guys. Just kind of give us sensors on it. And then the rest of you, you guys need to be moving. I want all you victories slam rounds into his engine bay. I've got a lock. And give me a full salvo. What is that? Oh, okay. They're just firing off. Draw their fire. Vader. Fire at that if you can. Wait for them to get closer. I want you all to hold position. I want to fight this mess within the, the point defense, the minimal point defense. I think we've got it. I think we can take the engine out. If we take the engine out. It's no longer going to maneuver. This thing is way too slow. Good job. Beautiful, and it's gonna be just out of range, and it's facing the wrong direction. We, it just doesn't get better than that. ISD, move up a little bit. Vader, move up a little bit. I need you to take the point on this one. Uh, all of you fighters need to engage. Are we in a fuzzball right now? I just don't know it. Engage. Hey, Vader, get their attention. Did we already? No, they didn't engage fully. Okay, they didn't commit. They didn't commit. Copy. Heading out. Order, sir. All right, heat the guns. Oh, don't tell me you're out of range. Oh, he is out of range. Guys are moving up to be our buffer. You hold position. Hopefully we're not in range of the Golan or we're gonna be regretting life in a second. Imperial missile destroyer here. Uh yeah, go for the shield generator now. We're having difficulty tracking them. Let's kill that thing. You need to be up here. Have you still not killed that turret? There it goes. Alright. Vader's taking a lot of hits. Um it, it's starting to fire back. I miss having jamming ships. All the all the little tricks of the rebellion early game. All right, his shields are actually down. Now we just kill the rest of them. Hold fleet, hold Vader. Pop your ability, and then all ties. You are now clear to engage. Support Vader's. Get in there, get in there, get in there. We got interceptors too. That must be from Vader's, because I don't think anything else I have has interceptor access. We killed it. 
Uh, what's our next move? I want you to target the we shield generator. Pop your ability. Our starboard side ISD should be able to take this out. Stop moving. Finish this job, and then we'll work on the... Did I just lose? No, he's still fine. His escort's quite large, so we're fine. I thought I lost the... Um... Okay, there goes the missiles. The missiles are on the way. They've got point defense firing, and it is shockingly working. Oh, man, does the Golan... Does the Golan 1 have, like, insanely good point defense? They stopped every missile. That shield generator... Oh, no, they didn't. The shield generator is at 60%. Okay, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. All right, all vessels. Be begin bombardment. Begin lock. bombardment. Let's go. Bombers. Slam them. That space station is done. Move up. Open, Move up. Sir. You're clear open to engage. Fire. I hope they have a shipyard here. I actually didn't check. I don't think they do, so we're probably going to have to backtrack. I want to finish that shipyard mission. Oh, man. I can't wait to start getting, like, Tectors and ISD-2s out. Start... Oh, and the, and the, the, the best ship, right? The Lancer out, when it man. comes to covering. The, probably the best picket ship in the game. If you've got, if you think there's a better picket ship, let me know. I can see an argument for the Rebel Assault because it's multi, you know, you can use it as an artillery ship as well. It's also maneuverable so it can get to problem areas. But let's talk about bristling with rapid fire guns. Ah, a Lancer. When you, when you, your ship was built to be a villain <laughs> in, in a, in a Starfighter focused novel. All right, we own the orbit and we need to make a ground invasion. If you have recommendations for what we can use to pierce armor with this low tech level, let me know. My plan right now is to build strikers, ground support craft, and bomb them. And then maybe, maybe I'm thinking about it the wrong way and I just need to have like three AT-ATs supported by ground infantry and, a and these um, artillery pieces. Maybe that's the real way of playing the empire early game and kind of keeping the casualties to a minimum maybe maybe i'm thinking about it the wrong way and i just need to start hitting them with bigger heavier stuff i'm thinking too rebel i'm thinking lighter and faster and that's not really the case here mm. all right i'm gonna wrap up the episode here because we're already an hour in thank you so much for joining me i can't wait to read the comments they're always a, a blast this empire campaign just kicking off see you in the next one later everybody